Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to some Genshin Impact. We've got a big one here today. We got the 5.1 special program. We're already heading right into the depths of Natland, man. I'm excited. Very, very excited. Um, This version of uh, 5.0 obviously was just freaking insane. Always a new region coming through is always just super amazing and fire especially with the natland region um i've gotten the two starting five star characters for natland mulani and kanich which i've never really done before so um it, but they're super super fun characters i definitely prefer kanich though for sure i love his freaking grappling skills but um Zilone is coming to 5.1 and i've heard a couple things about her I know she's a Geo Sword user, but that's and I've heard a couple other things. I'm not gonna say anything just yet, but um because this is a 30 minute video, I don't know how big of a version it's actually going to be. When it comes to 3.1 and 4.1, they were absolutely massive. But I mean, I don't are we continuing with the Archon quest or are we gonna kinda go off of the are we gonna do like an Atlanta event. Uh, it definitely looks like uh, something, obviously something in Natlan. Um, and there's Chaska, there's Jilonen, and Mavuika. And I think someone else is on the thumbnail. I, I don't actually know. But obviously it's going to be Natlan related, but I don't know if, if we're continuing the Archon quest or if we're going to continue or if we're going to do like a new, like, limited time event, you know, like how, like the festival or something like that. And, and, in the region specific area so um but hey let's find out um here we go uh, shit shit stop okay let's go i've had concerns for a long time who's that malika's plan needs What's... too much time and too many things can go wrong uh oh also we're just starting off with the series so, or trailer specifics aside the pyro archon confirmed the gnosis can resolve the crisis what crisis but it comes at a huge price what is that whoa this is a distress signal for the masters of the world so aurora was indeed being threatened Aurora! <gasps> great go malika oh my We're lord a rocky start here the music bro the uh 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 Woo! she is a dj this music is not okay. That was absolutely outlandish. <laughs> yeah, get them sound waves going, girl. If she's trying to finish that ancient name, there's only one place she could go. His soul is temporarily Where? restrained by us. Merge of ours? To have become more fragile in the process. Another world boss? Okay. Whoa. Reminds me of the thing in uh, Fontaine. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. The captain? Ain't no way. Once you've learned the truth, oh! the final archon Malwika would never willingly share. Oh! You may just find it in your heart. That was a real run. My proposal. We have to make. This oh, we're definitely continuing the archon quest. And now. Oh my gosh. A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection. What of the, the hell is that? Is doomed from the start. Presume too much. Humanity's survival is Yo, what is that, bro? Is that from the Night Kingdom? What the hell is happening here? No! All I wanted was to see her again. My end will not come first. She's not gonna sacrifice herself. If I could go back, I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. Oh my gosh! Wait, this is gonna be peace. Experience something similar in Malika. She knew exactly what I mean. Oh, this is gonna be peak. Wait, the rainbow dust in the blade. This is gonna be peak. Freaking sit lolly, bro. What? Just, bro, that was a roll run. Yo! He's like one of my favorites, just design wise. Okay, obviously, we're gonna get your codes, y'all. Get your codes. Hello, travelers. Who the hell Welcome is it? Genshin Impact version 5.1 special program. Who the hell is it? 
Guys! My name is Gabe. Man, I don't and I'm give from the Genshin up. Impact localization team. Where is my traveler? And I'm Kai. I'm also from the Loke team. And we'll be your hosts for today's program. Hey, get these. Okay. We're usually translating Genshin Impact behind the scenes, so it's an honor to talk about the latest Man, update. Get I'm these. pretty stoked about what's coming in version 5.1. Where is Zilonen? Where I'm is sure the that traveler? Everyone else is just as excited to find out about the new update. Then let's give them what they've been waiting for. First up, Shilonen Hell will be yeah. our new playable character in Good. version 5. Hey, man, they know what they was doing with this design. Oh, oh my month. god. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Shilonen has a lot going oh, on. Oh, yes, she does. Where should we start? Yeah, we should probably start with her profession. Of course. Shilonen is a famous smith from the Children of Echoes, one of Natland's six tribes. So she's also from the Children of Echoes. She's We're going to get a... Uh... We're gonna get that final tribal chronicle for her in 501. Just all kinds of goods, like jewelry, vehicles, and weapons. You right. name it, and she'll make it. And she's also a cool. DJ? We've already seen some of her creations, actually. Oh, oh really? She created the Pyro Archon sunglasses yes, and Kachina's Drill Turbo Twirly. Oh. You'll be able to see even more of her handiwork, including the weapons of some of our new upcoming Natland characters. Oh? Wow, oh. she's forged so many creations. <laughs> yeah, and they're all really varied. She commends so much respect in Natland, but her job is it's really challenging. Yeah. What's her secret? Shilonen is a really skilled smith, but her work mindset is the true key to her success. Mm -hmm. As she likes to say, if you overwork yourself, then your mind and body will settle the score. She can overwork yep. me. You can't Stop. accomplish much while you're burned out. That's why she believes Camera, that it's please. important to take breaks. So Camera. what does she do during her time off? Well, for uh, one, she likes to camera, sunbathe bro. in the tree branches. That's right. We saw her doing that before. Yeah, in the uh, ignition teaser. She yes. likes to sunbathe? But that's not her only hobby. Oh, she yeah. She also likes to listen to music. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a popular pastime in her tribe, That right? EDM, Absolutely. that real music. See those earpieces in her ears? Mm -hmm. They actually connect to a record player. Bitch, cool. is she all hate them? She made them so that she could listen to music during her work break. Oh, that's actually good. And the musical beats help her keep up a steady forging rhythm. Oh, that's heat. They're pretty heavy. That's freaking wow. Oh, my God. It seems like her skill set so is sick. really convenient. Mm -hmm. And as a smith, her skill set also comes in handy for exploration. Shilonen actually forged some special equipment that make it easier to get around. Let's take a look. Really? Great. Oh my god. Ooh, she's seen her night so Oh yeah, the cool. skates. Yeah. Wow, wow that's so smooth. So easy. Yeah. She can even stop in the middle of her climb and take in the surrounding view. That's so nice. sick. I bet she finds a lot of inspiration that way. For sure. When she finds something interesting, she, she so immediately springs into action. What? What was that? Oh, she's intense. Oh, yes, she is. <laughs> hey. Speaking of intense, uh -huh. let's discuss her battle mechanics. Okay. Shilonen uses special equipment in combat, too. See those three objects next to her? Uh -huh. They look like gems, right? Uh -huh. Well, those are samplers that were crafted by Shilonen herself. Okay. Whoa, those are super shiny. They really suit Shilonen's design. Yeah, and their color can change. The samplers are aligned with Geo by default, but their element will oh. change when you add Hydro, oh. Pyro, Cryo, or Electro characters to your party. Okay. For example, if Muolani is in your party, then one of Shilonen's samplers will become aligned with Hydro. Okay. And when Shilonen activates that sampler, she can reduce nearby enemies' resistance to Hydro damage. Oh, okay. Ooh. Well, how do you activate the samplers? It's simple. When Shilonen has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then hitting enemies with her normal attacks will build up Night Soul points. When Night Soul points are at their maximum level, then all samplers will be activated. Okay. This reduces the corresponding elemental resistance. So she's an elemental enemies. shredder, which is okay, cool. Okay, I think I understand her kit now. Nice. Shilonen's abilities work best when there so are she, at least two. So she like, okay, she's just kind of like a buffer in that way because if you're decreasing the resistance of the enemies, then that means you're going to do more damage. Different hydro, pyro, cryo, or electro characters in your party. Once you have an optimal team, you just need to activate the Night Soul's Blessing state and max out her Night Soul points. Exactly. These skills allow her to reduce multiple types of elemental resistance. Of cool. course, Shilonen also works in teams with multiple Geo characters. Oh yeah, that, let's... If Shilonen's samplers are aligned with Geo, then her normal attacks and plunging attacks deal greater damage instead of rapidly accumulating Night Soul points. So she's like a DPS oh, too? Really? Shilonen also has a talent that should be helpful for exploring that land. 
when Shilonin is in your party, triggering a Night Soul transmission with one of your party members will oh allow them to regain a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Really? Shilonin's elemental burst. I actually was wondering if anybody was going to, like, do anything with phlogiston, re like, increasing your phlogiston. Tell them to Look at how fucking hot and Regain Sorry. a set amount of phlogiston. Cool. Okay, Shilonin's this? elemental burst? burst deals AoE so geo sick. damage. And if she has at least two samplers of an element other than Geo, then her burst will restore HP to active oh, characters at set intervals. So she can heal as well. All right, that's all we have for Shilonin's skills. Yep. Oh, I forgot to mention something important. Of course. What is it? Of course. <laughs> ancient names. Shilonin inherited the art of ancient name forging. Mm -hmm. The Pyro Archon even appointed her to forge an ancient name for the traveler. Ancient names record this. So how good would she work with Arlequino? Because, I mean, the pyro res shred would work, but what about the heat? She won't be able to heal her, so... Deeds of Netland's heroes, right? It's amazing she can forge something like that. Exactly. She Netland cherishes it, its ancient names. Few have the Whoa. honor of being recognized by past heroes, Whoa. and even fewer individuals Good have Lord. the ability to forge ancient names. Good Lord. Be sure to check oh, out Tribal oh, Chronicles Nanatskayan in version 5.1 to learn more about Shilonin and ancient name forging. We will absolutely and do that. And just like in version 5.0, travelers can earn extra primo nice. gems and level up materials. So she's going to take the new weekly boss as well. Why aren't we getting a... Oh, not a weekly. Why aren't we getting a... um? Oh, a weekly boss. This is a world boss. Why aren't we getting a weekly boss? By completing Shilonin's Tribal Chronicle I thought we got during a weekly version 5.1. Speaking of forging an ancient name for the Traveler, at the end of the last Archon quest, the Pyro Archon made it sound pretty difficult. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. The Ooh. Traveler is an outlander, so their adventures in Netland aren't recorded in the Night Kingdom. Uh huh. If those deeds aren't recorded, then it's going to be pretty tricky to forge an ancient name for the Traveler. Yeah, no wonder the Power Archon said nobody's ever done it before. During the version 5.1 Archon quest, we'll have to figure out how to Summon overcome it. I'm that I'm gonna option. get an ancient name? We'll also get the chance See, to meet Lally. Lally from the Masters that of the design. Night design. Her tribe is said to be extremely knowledgeable about the Wyub. She looks like, um... What tribe is she from? <laughs> Damn, I can't- I forgot. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I forgot. So she might be able to turn the tides what in our favor. What the hell favorite. was that? Yes. Of course. New facial expression. The traveler's ancient name won't be the only obstacle. The threat of the abyss remains. Oh, goody. And it seems like... Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, my God! He looks so cool. If he's a four-star... I heard people say he's a four-star. If he's a four-star, I am going to be beyond pissed, bro. Nah, he can't be a four-star. I'm sorry. That design is not four-star. Oron, a mysterious member of the Masters of the Nightwing. Oh my gosh, what is the name of the tribe? See, Lolly's tribe. I can't remember. Hold on. Collective of Plenty? Is it Collective of Plenty? And is working on a secret oh plan. Oh my Ooh. gosh. There's so much to look forward His to. different eye colors. Travelers can also earn extra primo gems He's from an electro this user. Quest. Look at the hood! Dude, I need him. That's I don't right. even care if it's four star. I need him. Hey, you're exactly right. Just like in version 5.0, travelers can hey. earn an extra 500 primo gems if they complete the Natlan Archon quest Act 3 and Act 4 during version 5.1. Nice. But that's not all. Oh? Extra rewards will also be available for exploring that. We heard about this. Oh, exploring Natlan. Okay, it's not every single area re nation in the game. That sucks. <laughs> Land during version 5.1. Travelers can earn a total of 400 extra primo gems by completing related world quests and increasing Natlan exploration progress. Uh huh, so I'm gonna get all these. I'm gonna get all these. Travelers who already reached the required amount of progress in version 5.0 can directly claim the rewards during the new version. Light work. But don't worry if you're more laid back about exploring new regions. These exploration rewards will be available for two versions. Okay. That means you will have all of version 5.1 and okay. 5.2 to satisfy the conditions. People and that just, claim you know, can't rewards. really play the game as much. Can we expect similar rewards to become available as the map expands in future updates? Well, you better. You bet. <laughs> you Limited bet. time exploration rewards will be offered for all future Netland areas. And Snezhnaya. Each time a new region is released, the exploration rewards will be available for two versions. That way, travelers should have enough time to explore the new maps and claim those extra primo gems. 
Each version comes with a ton of activities. You might even come across some opportunities for exploration during certain commissions or events. Mm -hmm. So you'll definitely have a ton of chances to work towards those rewards. Mm -hmm. We should give the travelers an example. Okay. No problem. Wait. In version 5.1, travelers will be able to take part in an event called Aphid Treasure Trace. They'll work together with Shilonen to track down and capture oh, Phlogiston aphids. What is that? It's not as simple as I make it sound, though. These creatures have been corroded by the abyss, oh, which caused lovely. them to grow unnaturally large. Wow, is nothing safe from abyssal corrosion? Hell Natlin's no. Natlin's really going through a tough time. You think Tell so? me about it. Luckily, the corrosion levels are still reversible. Start by unleashing attacks with your characters, then use Shilonin's insect net to break their shields. Once the surrounding shields are down, travelers can purify the abyssal energy inside of them. Elsewhere in that land, ah. travelers who venture into a specific underground cavern secret will discover source a constructor. secret source attack. You know the weekly boss that you have to do all the plunging attacks on? It kind of looks like that. Pomaton it looks like the that same. Was left behind by a lost, a lost civilization. civilization. The secret source constructor awaits all challengers. If you look manage to beat this just new boss, it look then you can earn work. special materials. I bet Shilonen would love to get her hands on the parts of that And automaton. I would love to get my hands mm -hmm. on Shilonen. Stop! <laughs> okay, we introduced our new character and the new boss. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's move on to the event wishes. Oh, yes. In the first half of we version got going 5.1, on. travelers oh, can look Chiori? forward to event wishes for Shilonen and Chiori. A new five-star sword, her? Peak Patrol Song, mm, will be featured on the weapon. That looks so the waveforms, bro. Banner. That looks so And in the sick. second half of version 5.1, huh. we'll have returning event wishes for Nahida huh. and Hu Tao. <laughs> Shen he, rest in peace. <laughs> yes, and new four-star weapons will also be added to the weapon banner during version 5.1. Oh. Okay, keep an eye out if you're interested in them. Wait, the who? Oh, the weapon banner. Oh, they're just like, okay, they're banner weapons. I guarantee you that one is for Seat Lolly. I don't, I don't know who the fuck it is. To the weapon banner during version 5.1. Like okay. Keep sword. an eye out if you're interested in them. Oh, I can't wait. But it's about time for our first break. What the hell it ain't. Celebrating Nahida's birthday in version 5.1. Oh! I still remember how the sub We're doing another festival in Sumeru? During the Archon Quest two years ago. Nahida couldn't celebrate her birthday because the Grand Sage trapped her in the sanctuary of Surastana. Yeah. Right. And Nahida's character teaser was so sad. Especially during that third instance of, when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. The sudden change of music was so heart-wrenching. I don't remember all Definitely. that, but I The Traveler really helped out by exposing the Academia, and Nahida was able to earn her people's love, but we all feel like she deserves a true birthday celebration, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, in the version 5.1 event, oh, from Candice. of Candice and Roses, travelers will get the chance to give Nahida the birthday celebration that she oh, deserves. Oh, this is gonna be cute. All right, finally. Oh, that's yeah, gonna be cute. Actually, I have a few screenshots that Please. I can share with everyone. Do you want to take a sneak peek Please. at this Zerus festival? Absolutely. Yeah, let's do it. Whoa, oh. that's a lot of people. It looks like they're secretly discussing something. This is gonna be This fun. year, the Academia is organizing a birthday celebration unlike any other. Look at them all like... They give it as a oh small gosh, way guys. to make up for their past mistakes. Plus, the Traveler has teamed up with a bunch of friends from Sumeru Where's to all prepare a special surprise for Nikki. I have never a part of this. Oh, I can't wait to see her reaction. Get my goat of in course, the mix. a surprise is only as good as your ability to... <laughs> This is gonna be freaking. This is gonna become a meme or something. Keep it a secret. So don't give it away, don't forget traveler. Don't to charge that Chromebook. The flower carriage Aww. is another important part of Subzeru's That's festival. That's gotta be a furnishing, this right? This year, our Sumeru friends have created a miniature carriage to simulate the parade. That way, it can go off mm. without a hitch. You got Kabe and Faru's on. What fuck is I'll hate them. Where is my goat? That's Where is so my nice Sumeru of them. goat? And the traveler okay, will adorable. serve as the knight of flowers during the real parade. Of course. Escorting the carriage along the route. This is wow, amazing. so the traveler is this like is gonna be protector. Amazing. Yeah, it looks like the Aranara are also involved in the festival. I'm going to love if this. If you want to learn more about this year's Subzerus festival, including the birthday surprise, love this. then be sure to check out the event during version 5.1.
It's time to make some memories sweeter than candied Agile Knock Nuts. Uh, Travelers can also look uh, forward to different types of gameplay during the event. Oh, word on G. Remember the parade simulator that we saw in the earlier screenshot? Maybe. Travelers can take it for a spin during the event, Rocking Carriage. The what? Goal is to control the direction of the carriage to avoid obstacles while gathering this is like as the many Bennett flowers thing. as possible. Collect blessings the, along the way, things. and you'll be able to obtain a higher score. This is nice. audio surf. What the? F In the second event, in a reflection of reality and dreams, travelers will enter unique dreamscapes, search for anomalies within the dreams, and fix them. Okay. Oh, so it's like what? a spot the difference game. That's okay. one of my specialties. <laughs> In the third event, of Shadow course. of the Night's Blade, the Knight of Flowers of must eradicate evil on behalf of, of the Dendro Archon. Earn points by defeating as many enemies as possible within the time limit. Of you can course. even increase your performance level and earn buffs Kinda by like satisfying what we got going special on right conditions now. during the challenge. Cool. Uh, this should be Love a it. breeze for the Knight of Flowers. Bring it on. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Looks like someone's excited for the Subzerus Festival. I hope travelers Honestly, feel the same yeah, way. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, sure I'm, I'm going to like this. In addition this. to Nahida's birthday celebration, okay, we got version 5.1 offers other exciting events. Is that on God? In Feast of Pursuit, travelers will be able to earn rewards by completing various challenges. They can even choose their own difficulty setting. Oh, cool. Each challenge comes with unique buffs. That weak -ass Use damage. them wisely to clear the challenge as quickly as possible. You'll find tougher enemies at higher difficulty levels. In Reminiscent Regiment 3, Sounds pretty simple. travelers will team up with each other in co-op to tackle a challenge with four random stages. Oh. Each challenge will feature different then, Reminiscent okay. reinforcements. Selecting a character that fits the reinforcements featured in each stage will make it easier to complete. Each player can choose a strengthening buff before entering a stage. Okay. You can give your team an advantage Again. by choosing a buff that works with the specific we've stage been, design. We've done these a million it's times. About I like them, so I'm not really complaining. <laughs> Absolutely. After completing the challenge, travelers will earn so thrilling cool. stars based on their performance. Be sure to gather thrilling stars if you want to claim the corresponding rewards. New Invisage Dacos challenges will also be added I know in who version this is. 5.1. I got Travelers spoiled. will it's not be able to obtain Dacos for Zhongli and Kuching. Whoa, Zhongli's echo is really cool. Kuching's echo is and nobody give a damn about Kuching. She leaves My boy Zhongli. We her. getting that echo. <laughs> Whoa, save some excitement for echo. our other updates. During version 5.1, a give few a damn familiar faces will oh. also be added to Genius Invocation TCG. Travelers can look forward to new character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Cool. Version 5.1 is absolutely packed with events. Yes, it is. There's even the... Can I get my OST on Spotify, though? ...Aphid Treasure Trace event that we introduced at the beginning of the program. Uh-huh. That's not all. There's, There's an old friend we haven't seen in a while. Who did Wait, do you mean... Please don't tell me it's Leibin. That's right. Lieben will be back in Lieben version 5.1. A... Just like always, travelers can exchange their items for primo gems and He's level up materials. back. I even heard that Natlin specific materials will be available during oh. his latest visit. Awesome. That should be all for the version 5.1 event. Okay, we still got 10 minutes. That means it's about time. Nope. I don't give a damn about your second break. What you got going on here? I'm going to spiral this. It's time to jump into the system optimization. Okay, let's get it. We kind of already First know about up, this, but... a skip feature will be added to the Spiral Abyss. Yes! This cha Trash. change allows you to skip Floor 9 in the new update if you obtain full stars on Floor 11 of the previous Tuh. Spiral Abyss. Tuh. Obtaining full stars Light. on Floor 12 will allow you to skip both Floor 9 and Floor 10. Light. Hopefully, War. this change will create a smoother experience. Yeah, so I can suffer more in the Imaginarium Theater and not waste my time in Spiral Abyss. Well, I shouldn't say waste my time. But, you know, I can... Anyway. It sounds like they're starting to give less of a damn about Spiral Abyss and are moving to other things. It's like, you know, people don't care about Spiral Abyss anymore. Let's not, let's not put too much... Let's not still keep it... I don't know. Man. Smoother experience. That yes. That sounds so convenient. So you can focus yeah, more know, on imaginary right? theater and sit. Just as a reminder, the primo gem rewards from the skipped floors will need to be claimed manually. But floor rewards, True. such okay. as domain reliquaries, will be distributed uh, okay. automatically okay. when you open the spiral abyss. Okay, they interface. also do something with the domain. In reliquaries. addition, you can now open multiple domain reliquaries at once. Nice. Why did it take four years? I don't know. One by one. I don't yeah. know. Continuing with more optimizations, the filtering and sorting logic of the character artifact interface oh, has been improved. Nice. The system will now remember your artifact set filters so that you don't have to set them every single Think. time. 
You can you. also sort by affix for an individual artifact slot. Those preferences will also be saved. Thank you. That will make it a lot easier Thank to filter you. artifacts for each character. Thank totally. you. Totally. Can we work on the actual RNG prefaces of the domains? So I stopped getting the wrong artifacts. The character ascension mechanics will also be optimized in version 5.1. Yeah, I know about 1. this, right? You can now see the craftable amount of certain materials directly in your inventory. Oh, that's cool. A feature will also be added to the crafting bench that allows you to filter recipes by character ascension goals. That's so good. Yeah, see, I, we, we knew about this already. This will allow you this to easily view and- I don't know what the hell is happening on my screen, but I'm ready. <laughs> Half the number I'm ready of materials for this. that you need. Now, you don't have That's to calculate so the required materials and quantities in advance. You can do all of that at the crafting bench. So it only tells you what you need. Version 5.1 will also be adding other so small nice. optimizations. I'm, I'm ready for that. Be sure to check out future announcements for more information. Why? All right, travelers. Some of you might have already noticed, but Genshin Impact turns four years old tomorrow. We've had an incredible journey Love so this far, art, by right? the way. Four years of just peak let's see where this path has taken us please don't make me cry it's time to relive some I don't, amazing memories. i don't want to cry bro. let's do it i don't want to cry right now i don't want to cry right now oh it's going to be the animation that i saw oh i'm gonna i'm gonna lose it but what the hell is that oh the night kingdom yeah get the hell oh my god windblade electro traveler hot garbage Okay. Passing memories. Oh, I'm gonna lose it. Don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! That never happened, by the way. This never happened. This is from Zhan Yun's story quest. This never happened. It's a dream. It was her machine that made you feel... I'm dead. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, clean. Little. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Oh my god. Kakomi, Nilu, Ayaka. Inazuma was still peeing. The freaking Ito singing event. Oh my gosh, Lance on the right. The love is shining bright in the deep night. Stand up to find many times and know it's wrong. Half damn! Scars will fall. Navia! The, the big ass compass thing. Where's your Lakino? Where's your Lakino? Oh my. Yes! I don't! That was cool, the transition to Senora. The Kahulasaur. Or Kukasaur. Kukasaur. They get this easy light work. Oh. <laughs> Traveler. Travel through infinite dusk snows. Break through strong tides. Rui! Oh! Our request! Oh, freaking. Oh my gosh, stop it. The car. Oh, man. Oh, the kingdom might go. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, not the Hina quest. Stop it. Oh, the Yomiya story quest. Oh my god. Do this to me, bro. Marina, 
the end of the Arcanine Quest. What in the hell? Oh, those are the the little night ghosts. Malvika? I don't know what that was again. Here's to four years of Genshin Impact. That was so good, hey, bro. I, happy birthday. Guys, my eyes water. Wow, it's already been four years. Where's the time gone? I don't know. It really brings back so many memories when I see all those scenes. There's that fight again. I know I've only recorded like a year of like doing these like Genshin reactions and actually like recording quests and stuff and building characters that I got. But I've been playing basically since launch November 28th. I think it was like when I officially started playing. Um, and yeah, so I've done literally everything here that was shown on the screen. All the world quests, all the Archon quests, all the freaking story quests. Like it's just been the best thing ever. So. Storm Terror. The battle of the Jinx such Chamber, an amazing thing to Mahita be a part of. saying goodbye to Greater Lord Ruka Devada. Stop it. The Masquerade of the Guilty. I know. And I'm definitely going to have that song on repeat. Or... That's exactly what I did with the Natlands. So can we get the OST? It seems like this is a good place to announce that Natlands first OST album, Land Thank of you. Play Ayatol, is about to be released. The album contains three discs featuring 78 original tracks composed for, for Genshin music. Impact. Yay, we can finally add Natlands regional sound. Or RP my storage. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Hmm. That looks like all the information we have to share. Sound god. That means it's time for the special program to come to an end. Is there anything you want to say before we leave? Yeah, for sure. Hey, I'm excited. Well, I think there's. It's not the great. It's not the most impactful update of all time because 5.0 is absolutely outlandish. So, I mean, but so much cool. So a lot of exciting stuff. Version. The Archon Quest obviously looks the most exciting. It looks absolutely insane. We get to see Lali freaking Aurora. It looks like we're actually we now gonna get like every character from like playable character from Natlon actually in game now, right? Am I missing anyone? And, and hey, come on, fourth anniversary. That's so huge. They didn't talk about yeah. the anniversary. I mean, awards. we've I know put they so much the work into this game over the years, and every version has been special. But I gotta say, 5.0, 5.1, these have been great. Exactly. I mean, seriously, Genshin Impact is. I don't know who y'all are, but I appreciate y'all honestly. To me, is my work, mm. is my life. Right. I play Genshin Impact every day. I do too, because I'm a loser. I talk about Genshin Impact every day. I do too, day, because I am I a loser. I interact with players online. I it's don't do that because I got no friends. All these years. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Totally. Totally. So if I have to say something this time, we are truly, truly we are Genshin that you Impact. guys, our players, are continue playing this game. Of course, and yeah. we are just as excited as you guys for what's coming next in the game. Awesome. Yeah. No, totally agree. That's so great. Yeah. Well, he does not sound excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye. Once again, thank you so much for all of the support over these. He's got past a little bit years. of uh, anxiety. Hope to see you in game. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, well, that was cute. I don't know. Are they can? Are they gonna continue to do that, or or like, is that just gonna be for now? I don't know. Could. Could the could the could the traveler and them not pull up for the for the video? I don't know. Ah, uh, bro, this freaking song, insanity. Yeah, I'm crying. Boy, let me tell you something. Boy, let me tell you something. Who that was peak? Okay. Da, 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 da. Bro, I, obviously we'll get into more of what. It looks like we're gonna like they're actually gonna try and help me get an ancient name. For what? I don't know. But clearly I have sauce, so that means yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be lit. So that was the Rainbow Destined to Burn, Genshin Impact 5.1 reaction. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe button. And I will see you all later. Alright. Bye-bye now.